Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is From the Depths. Now we are in the, the uh, designer once again. Um, I was hoping to bring a campaign uh, um, today uh, for you, but um, unfortunately I, it's basically crashing with an exception every time I load the campaign at the moment. Uh, so I've put a little bug report up for about the latest build. Hope maybe they can fix it um, before I have to go to an old save and then try and spend uh, quite a few hours getting back to where we were uh, so I can continue. So I'm hoping they'll fix that and um, I can use that save game and we can continue with the uh, main um, campaign. But in the meantime, I thought I'd have a look at something which um, was mentioned to me and um, also is a requirement for the um, Atlantis and uh, just a general look up and that is um, um, missiles for anti-air targets um, especially targets you know uh, which are a little bit more erratic than uh, normal or um, just generally you know how can you make a missile systems or um, SAM systems to cover yourself from aerial targets um, so okay what I've done as I I've have created a little SAM pod to show off some of the what I find is a good idea now generally let's go and ha we'll have a look I'll just put my character back into the chair uh, let's put him back in in here come on there we go. Right. Um, so we've got a little sand pod at the back here. Um, basically, um, the, the plan I t tend to have, this is not a, f a final build, this is still a testing uh, system at the moment. The, the pl plan I tend to have um, when it's, you're dealing with, whether it be ships, aircraft, is create um, umbrellas and regions of uh, effect or areas of effect for your weapons. Um, so what we've got here is three missile types and one cannon type. Now, what they're designed to do is give us different ranges at which we can um, attack um, aircraft. And also at aircraft of different types. Now, so starting at the rear, this is the largest missile. And this is generally designed for long range. It, its main... If we look at here, it is fast because um, both thrusters fire at the same time, just about. Um, it's got a few fins. It's not agile. This is mainly designed to attack targets out at about a thousand meters or so. So it's a long-range aerial uh, targets. Um, one thing you'll notice in all of my um, aerial and SAM missiles is they only have one fragmentation warhead. The idea is just to do enough damage to it so that other missiles can come in and finish it off. It's not intended to do lots of damage. The other bit to be wary of, on your fragmentation warhead, this one actually has got a high level. This actually uh, shouldn't be that high. Is don't go too low. Um, that was actually an, an error in that regard. If I look at one of my other ones here, uh, fragmentation warhead 90 degrees. Um, and these ones down here uh, also 90 degrees. Um, you want to just be able to hit something which is vulnerable, which sets the vehicle off of its line, you know. Um, so you don't necessarily want to hit the actual block you've actually aimed at. You might want to hit the ailerons, a wing, a engine, a just something on that ship which is a little bit more delicate and causes the um, vehicle to go out of control. And that gives you a chance then to try and um, uh, take it out. So having a you need a wider cone. Now the long range ones. I have got a 30 degree cone is what I intended for these. Uh, I don't know why I'd gone to three, but 30 degree because um, they are going against larger ships. So uh, yeah, you would want a, a slightly better. But they're still the main aim is still to go for um, engines and vulnerable parts. Then finally we have a cannon system. Um, so okay, let's go back to where we were. Uh, so we got these which are designed for about a thousand. Um, meters or so so closing ships 
they're aimed at large vessels, so you've got your airships and your larger ships, which we'll go and have a look at in a minute. Then you've got your medium range. These medium range ones, um, although it's got, what, it's got three fins, it's a lot sh uh, shorter, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, yep, yeah, six blocks, um, one thruster with three tanks, and three fins. This is this is mainly uh, an agile against agile craft. Um, I also do use a proximity fuse in here just to get a chance to hit something. And once again, there is a fragmentation warhead with the wide angle. So there, your medium range, slightly more agile craft, a chance of getting them. Then the final missile system is fairly this is this is a very small it's only three blocks the idea is to be a bit of a, a machine gun now I've got 14 uh, missiles here but you could quite happily increase the number of missiles it's nothing special short but one thruster one tank one fin you know definitely nothing uh, unusual here and a one turn uh, no guidance nothing special about it um, the only special bit is the delay in the here of the um, where are we here uh, let's see it's the um, trying to get it there yeah so here the the um, we've got a delay of half a second between each um, item and that's with the um, uh, staggered fire add-on that's the one I was looking for so we got half a second the idea is just to be constantly firing a missile wait for that ship to make a mistake effectively and one of those missiles will get it but it's close range the final close range is the cannons these are um, uh, high rate of fire you can see they're pointing up because they are so that if something's straight above they will still fire uh, the intention of these is as fast firing as possible. So relay turn point one. I'm not worried about anything else. They are just to do some sort of damage to it. They've got some explosive damage. Um, I haven't really put much armor piercing. They're just to fire as quick as possible. You don't want it too accurate. I've put an accuracy of three on here. Um, if something is too accurate, it, it won't you need to want to just pepper the whole area and these are going to have a fairly close range you know they start firing at about 300 meters um, uh, so our ranges at the moment is these are about a thousand these will be about 700 750 and these will be about three four hundred meters these will fire at um, so and, and then finally these again about three four hundred so these are your close range ones so we've got an, an umbrella three umbrellas or possibly four umbrellas of targets um, and aiming at different items large vehicles um, agile vehicles um, those really this is designed for those really annoying ships uh, this, this last one this is the ships where basically the other missiles normal targeting is not working so you just want to hope it makes a mistake and you take it out and this is basically big damage. If someone gets close enough in these missiles, this will just pepper the area, hopefully do a little bit of some damage that these missiles can hit. So we'll use two systems to have a look at this. We'll start with your deep water guard. So uh, we'll just start with something which is a um, uh, for the long range. So if we just put bring in, a, in an atlas, which is a slow... Um, airship um, once it reaches the 1000 uh, meter range approximately it, we should start to get a launch on on our uh, vehicles I'll just come out of the build menu on there and then come up here a little bit so we can see what's going on just got to wait for it to get a little closer let's make sure that uh, everything is on yep sample so there is our missiles firing out so they are basically designed for long range I don't know come in there's seven of them there we could do eight I've just done seven at the moment just the way it worked with the uh, the pod they've got ejectors they're quite fast and they have got good long range and reasonable damage as well you can see the amount of blocks they're taking off 
We're not going to be immune from from damage here. Uh, but they're just uh, gradually taking that down and they're not really they're designed just to take out a ship at the long range you can see it's already taken plenty of damage the next level of missile so I mean they're just firing yeah that's that's that this is down I'm just going to put that uh, fragmentation up again. I think uh, we'll leave it on that three at the moment for here. Just for that long range damage effect. So um, something like a, 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 a uh, Atlas can take a fair bit of damage. Another one um, which is possibly what it's aimed at. Actually a v uh, plane rather than the airships. Um, let's just take that one out again. Out of battle for the moment because normally uh, these don't attack anything once they have in the in the sea these are aerial only obviously uh, that particular one your cannons and everything would have normally taken it out so let's go for something like a drake which is a, a quite a large um, uh, ship or, or yeah we'll go for a drake so this is a, a fairly hefty you might get a few of these come in so uh, again this is designed for the long range weapon um, it's a fairly slow vessel uh, that's coming against us we're going to come up here so we can see it being from this side so it should be there we go the missiles are coming in on this so yeah they're, they're, they're adjusting but they're designed against something which is Yep, yeah, I mean, that's just got taken out again. Uh, they're designed against something which is uh, slower moving, just going for the distance on this. Uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, effectively been taken out. Well, uh, yep, yeah, we've got an AI damaged. Okay, so next, what other type of thing? Now, something like a, a, dust, a, a, a duster is slightly more agile. So... Um, it's possible that the long-range missiles would you would avoid them you can see it's got a slightly more erratic movement to it we'll just let the the, uh, the vessel um, come into range it's just at the edge of the uh, uh, ring here There we go, it's firing those long range missiles, but this dust has got a quite a relatively erratic movement. So the long range missiles will potentially, oh they might actually hit it in this regard, yeah, okay they have actually hit it in this, in this instance, uh, which is good. But uh, we'll try something else, let's try a Shrike. A Shrike is another one which is quite fast, high flying, it causes quite a few problems for people. So we've got the long range missiles coming in quite nicely um, that these ones were from previous fire we can see already the long-range missiles actually have started to hit this this is a much higher target so we'll go up to have a look at it uh, so yep yeah, there's the high range missiles now he has got decoys on this so we it takes a little while just to take this one out now we have the more agile missiles and you can see how they've suddenly just taken it it out quite nicely especially with the um, uh, proximities they took out quite a bit and also with the scattered fragments it started taking out lots of parts of it it actually did get in range for just about the uh, guns to start firing as well by the looks of it so just about everything started firing at that shrike <laughs> but the uh, agile missiles helped so um, Okay, I'll, we'll go to the Flying Squirrel is in a second. Uh, the other um, side is fast, fairly fast ships. So if we just make sure all the enemy vehicles are destroyed. Uh, something like this Irritation. We'll go to the Twin Guard because there's a couple of ones on here which people have wanted to be to look at. Um, so Irritation, it's a bit of a faster, top speed of 52. Um, now again... 
Uh, to be honest, I'm expecting the long-range missiles to miss here. He's got an erratic movement. You can see the erraticness of his movement, and he is also quite fast. So the long-range missiles have missed. Even the middle ones are, have missed. Now, these fast-firing missiles will just take the opportunity to try and hit it. Whoops, and they've got taken out, unfortunately, there. But this is where the agile missiles will now check, be able to chase him down, hopefully. As he's turning there, you can see they turned with him. And bam, they got him. So they're the agile missiles. They managed to just chase him down, keep with him, and just finally, uh, finally get him. Now, uh, unfortunately, we did get our... Oops. Our uh, front missile system did get taken down here. I just want to make one change, make sure that it is okay. I've had a couple of little issues where if this um, block gets destroyed, when it rebuilds it, it doesn't always rebuild it with all of the right settings. So um, I'm just, just having to check that one for the moment. Okay, so now... so. That's fast vehicles. The medium level missiles are good against the fast vehicles, chases them down um, and works on them. So, the real problem ones that uh, people seem to have issue with, the sneak. Now the sneak and also the squirrel are really erratic vehicles. You can see how erratic that is flying. Let's bring that back, the interface back in here. You can see uh, the erraticness of, of its flight. Uh, there's n these long-range missiles have no chance, even the, m the agile ones here. Now, the idea of the, the uh, missiles at the front is they will act like, effectively, like a machine gun, in that they'll just constantly keep firing a missile. Eventually, he'll make a mistake, and one of them will hit. And that is the way to go for these erratic uh, vessels. The guns, even the cannons, cannot lock onto uh, a ship like this but there we go or oh. rather than trying to fire too many at a time I'm just trying to keep constant um, small missiles which, which reload fast and you can see they are they are hitting um, not quite enough they've done some damage I'm guessing he's healed himself but there we go. Oh, there's another heel. Is that one taking him down enough? Possibly. The, I mean, these are annoying. These are annoying little ships. Um, for their size and their their RP rating, they are they are specifically designed to avoid missiles. It's, it's the whole reason they they've been designed this way. Okay, our, our agile missiles actually did finally catch up with him. So, it's not like um, we've got one missile that did the damage. What we've done is um, one of these first missiles possibly just did enough damage to it that our more agile missiles were able to actually hit. So it's um, an umbrella effect. You're 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 um, letting one missile possibly find its weakness rather than trying to think you've got the ultimate missile for all situations the actually the most difficult one I have found is the flying squirrel this is about the most annoying sh uh, vehicle out there at the moment um, you can see how erratic this movement is there is no way any type of guidance will um, be able to follow it, which is why the, the fast, the, the front missiles, the short range missiles, have no guidance. They just go for it. Oh, we got a couple of hits in there, which made him less agile, and the rest of the missiles were able to catch up. That was actually quicker than I expected. So. Since these ones here were the how to get the uh, sneak, squirrel, etc. They are just a three block missile. Uh, so they reload very quickly and they're set at a half second delay. Um, and they just keep firing. That's the uh, whole idea of these. Just keep firing until you get that one shot. But you do need these other missiles 
sorry, let's get a little bit too far out. You need these other um, agile missiles to take advantage of um, the damage that the smaller missiles do. So, uh, anyway, this is my sort of solution, my SAM AA pod. Um, the guns are quite good if we bring cell where else can we bring in what else we can bring something like um, a, a gotha is quite a, a, a powerful ship i think that one might get taken out um, if we put in let's put in a, in a, a sh uh, dock and a drake we'll put in a couple of ships here just give ourselves um, a sustained barrage um, and it'd be quite surprised how much how much um, damage this pod will give out. Just uh, let's see if we can get a good screenshot or two. So our missiles are going in for the Gotha. He's firing already. So the other item I do on these missiles, I make them extra fast. It reduces their range a bit, but they're a little faster just to try and take out the uh, enemy. Alright, now we've got the other levels of missiles all now fired, so the Goth is actually now down. And the guns are firing as well. So if someone got in quite close, guns just fire up close. They are your ultimate close range weapon. You can see they've just taken that out quite nicely. So combined missile effects, basically. Umbrellas, extra layers, onions, layers, um, it's not, and it also makes them cry, so it's an onion Sam system. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, that's, uh, my Sam pod. I'll, f I'll build this up a little bit better before I add it to the Atlantis. But hopefully, um, the, um, we'll get the campaign back soon. And we'll be able to um, continue with the uh, mission and get rid of the Onyx Watch and then move on to our next uh, group. So, it, hopefully that's been interesting or got some, given some people some ideas. Um, I was just trying to think of anything else that I had to get. I did have uh, missiles on turrets. Missiles on turrets, in general, is not a, has, has issues. Let's put it that way. Um, I have gone back on some original ideas I had on the turrets. I've found a lot of problems with them. Uh, but I can go through that if anyone's interested. But there is a various problems there. But until next time, please leave any comments below. And um, keep playing and have fun.